Hello everyone, storyteller Caleb here. I want to wish everyone a Gemar Chatima Tova for Yom Kippur. I'm going to share a few more stories with you. This first one has a lot of different sources depending on where you look. You can find it in a lot of different places. But there is a version of this, I'm told, somewhere in Talmud. It goes like this. There once was a rabbi that everyone said was very wise. Some said he even knew everything. People would come to him with all sorts of questions, not even just rabbinical matters. They would ask him when the rains would come or, or if he knew when an eclipse would be or if he knew when people would get better and he always seemed to have a wise and kind answer. Well, one day there were a group of children that they weren't sure if they believed that the rabbi knew everything and so they tried to Think of all the hardest questions they could to try to prove the rabbi wrong. One thought of a question like, how do you know how many stars there are in the sky? Another thought of a question, how do you know how many seconds there are in a year? And in all of them, the rabbi was able to give counted and thoughtful answers. And then one boy thought of a trick. So he went and he gathered a small bird in his hands and he caught it, held it like this. And he held it behind his back and he came to the rabbi. Rabbi, I have a question. What am I holding in my hands? The rabbi listened carefully and he heard the soft cheep, cheep and the flutter of wings. And the rabbi said, why? I believe you're holding a bird in your hands. The boy was slightly disappointed, but he still wanted to try to prove the wise man wrong. So the boy said, very well. Is the bird dead or alive? The boy thought that if the rabbi answered alive, the boy would crush the bird, so the bird would be dead. And if the rabbi answered that the bird was dead, then the boy could show in his hand that the bird was alive. It seemed like the perfect plan until the rabbi said calmly, the answer, my young friend, is in your hands. Hmm. In my hands? Yes, it's in your hands. The boy brought the bird from behind his back, showing the alive bird to the rabbi. The answer was indeed in my hands. It's what I do. He looked at the delicate bird chirping at him. I'm sorry, little one. Fly free. Gamar Khatimatova.